Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Schleich's lineup for their 2020 releases for their extinct animals. Uh, we've got five figures here to talk about today. Uh, going to be honest, got some very mixed feelings about them. Uh, but let's get into this. Okay, so the first figure we have is the sauropod Augustinia. Now, of course, Augustinia is famous for having the uh, giant spikes coming out of its back. However, they were later found to be just the ribs, so that's inaccurate now. So I have to ask the question, why? Why have Schleich decided to make this when we know it's inaccurate? Well, I mean, I know why, because um, it, it, it looks cooler and it gives the animal more of an identity, but in terms of accuracy, why would you make this figure? Uh, it's, it's, it's inaccurate, and we've known that for quite a bit now. Uh, even, but that's not the only problem. Even the feet are inaccurate because uh, if it's a titanosaur, um, the front feet shouldn't really have any toe claws on it at all. And yet we've got several toe claws there. The back feet seem okay. And uh, I, I do want to like this figure. It's got kind of a cute look to it in a way. Uh, the pose is pretty cool and I like the color scheme. But it's just, a, why? Why? Why this? Why would you make it like this? So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be getting this one. Uh, this I do like something about it, but, um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure about this one. Okay, next up we have the Ankylosaurus. And, again, mixed feelings. Uh, this, it suffers from what a lot of Ankylosaurus figures suffer from, and that is that they give it the armor of Euoplocephalus stick an ankylosaurus head on it and call it a day and that's kind of what's happened here it kind of looks like it's got that sort of situation going the pose looks pretty cool though how on earth has it got its tail all the way up there um the, the head looks a little funny as well i don't i don't know what's going on with that it it when i look at this figure it doesn't scream ankylosaurus to me and well that's kind of its job is if you're making an ankylosaurus, that's what you want it to say to you. And I'm just not getting that. I think the detail looks really cool on it and looks very nice. The color scheme, there's not really much to say, is it? It's not that interesting. Not bad, but again, it doesn't look like an ankylosaurus. And, well, it's an ankylosaurus. That's kind of a problem. So, uh, again, mixed thoughts on this one. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Next up, though, we have what is, in my opinion, by far the best out of these five figures. And that is the Baryonyx. Now, immediately, this bears a striking resemblance to... A, did I just say striking? I don't even know. It bears a striking resemblance to the Jurassic World Suchomimus, which some people might think that's lazy, but I, I honestly don't care. Uh, this one, this one looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. Uh, the feet look a little weird. They're a little bit big, but if that's for stability, that's okay. I don't think it's a tripod. Uh, the feet, is it just me? Or the feet look like they're um, kind of awkwardly splayed out in different directions. Is that just me? Maybe it's just the angle the photo's taken from. We'll have to wait and see. The arms look pretty good. The proportion looks really good, except for the feet, like I said. Uh, the only other problem I can see with this one is... It looks like there's some shrink wrapping on the head, but th everything else, it looks really good. I'm, I'm really happy with this one. I'm hoping that this looks just as good, if not better, when we eventually get it in person. So far, I'm pretty excited about this one. This one looks really good. They've got the bigger claw, the first claw that Baryonyx is known for. Uh, the tail looks nice and long, and it, look, it looks thick. It doesn't look too thin and uh, wiggly. Yeah, this one, I'm, I'm excited for this one. I really like this one. Uh, I hope this one delivers. The, now, the next one, I think, is probably the worst out of this bunch of five, and that is the Cryolophosaurus. Now, I'll start off with a positive. Well, I, I don't even know if I can call it a positive. Um, I will applaud Schleich for going for such a bold color scheme. Like, bright sky blue and purple and I do like how they made the crest red but oh boy 
the, oh, there's a lot going on here. I think th my least favorite part is just the overall pose. It looks so bland and awkward, and like it doesn't look natural at all. It it looks really uncomfortable. Like the feet look a bit big. Uh, the the tail looks it looks like it's just standing out. It doesn't look natural. The head looks really really weird. This could just be the the angle, and is it just me or does the head look really big? It looks really big and chunky, and but weirdly short. But I can't tell. But even if we get it from a different angle, I feel like it's not going to look much different. Maybe it will. But I think the worst part are the arms. They, they 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 look like they can't tell if they want to be pronated or not. So they've gone for this weird in between, and it just and they're being held out in such a weird way. It doesn't look relaxed at all. The pose just looks so off. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of this one at all. It's not doing anything for me. Uh, lastly, we have the poster Sukas, and my thoughts on this one are kind of the same as the um, the Augustinia. Why? We know well. It's still disputed, but we're pretty sure the poster Sukas probably would have walked on two legs and not four. And yet here we are with Schleich in 2020. Giving us a four-legged poster Sukas with the... Is it just me or does it have really, really skinny front legs? It, it, something about this one just feels off. Especially the head. The head looks really freaky. The eyes look huge. Now, granted, poster Sukas has quite a, an odd skull, but not to this degree. It looks, it looks really weird. And the colours... Uh, they're not bad, but they're not doing much for me either. Like the overall brown colour's okay. The green, like the olive or khaki green going along the top, not doing much for me. And then the osteoderms have been weirdly highlighted in white. I don't know why. Uh, the back legs look alright, and the tail looks pretty good. Uh, it's It's mainly just the front end. I, uh, I don't know, it's just, it pales, looking at this, it pales in comparison to Safaris from 2008, and it's just, I feel like if you're going to reconstruct Postosuchus in this day and age, you should probably stick it on two legs, not four, but for what it is, it's not too bad, but I don't think I'm going to be picking this up. Okay, so I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, aside from the Baryonyx, which I'm really, really, um excited for and i'm hoping i'm really hoping that one delivers yeah we've got as usual with schleich we've got a very mixed bag here M more on the negative side i'm afraid uh i think the detail on the ankylosaurus and the post sucus looks pretty good but uh, the accuracy here is not that great the augustinia is just it feels confused and the Krylophosaurus is also looking all over the place uh yeah, so I'm I don't think I'm gonna be picking up any of these except for the Baryonyx. So the Baryonyx definitely gets a, a thumbs up from me. The rest of them, uh, middle if not a thumbs down, I think, which is kind of a shame. Now last year, Schleich released five figures, or they announced five figures initially, and then later on in the year they announced four more. And in that later four, like that second wave, if you want to call it that, we did get two of the best Schleich figures ever, which are the Draco Rex and Diablo Ceratops. So hopefully they've got something up their sleeve for this year, because last year we had a Spinosaur, which was the Spinosaur, and that was a huge letdown in my opinion. It looked amazing, and then when we saw it in person, it was this really off-looking... It, it just The head alone was just really odd. So hopefully that doesn't happen this year with this Spinosaur and the Baryonyx. Because I, I really, I've got a good feeling about this one. So come on, Schleich, don't let me down. Yeah, that, that I think that's all I have to say on these. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, next Friday, which will be the 11th of October, we're going to be doing a review of Episode 2 of Walking with Dinosaurs, Time of the Titans. And also a figure based on an animal that appeared in that episode as well. So uh, please do look forward to that. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.